Wanted Adventure, hosted by Donna Newman. Am I running out of video ideas? Not really, no. I have lists and lists and lists so long of video ideas. I have been keeping these lists for years now. Don't know if I will ever be able to make videos out of all of the ideas that I've collected on these lists. I keep lists on my phone. I keep lists on notebooks that are around the apartment on little just kind of like pads of paper. Sometimes I get my ideas when I'm going through life, doing daily life stuff, and I'll see something that sparks an idea. Hey, that's different, or that's interesting, or that's something that makes me go, hmm, I'll write that down. Or I'll be in part of a conversation. I'll be in part of a conversation. I'll be part of a conversation, and I'll be like, ooh, that was just an interesting way that English was used or German was used or some other language thing or having nothing to do with languages or cultures, just um, maybe I'm going for a walk in the park and my thoughts are swirling around in my head and I get some ideas that way and I'm like, hmm, maybe I could talk about that in a video. Sure, over the years, there have been some times where I felt like, I have a little bit more inspiration as far as ideas go, times where I felt like I have a little bit less inspiration, but in general, nope, not running out of ideas. Sometimes I also get ideas at kind of an inconvenient time, right before I fall asleep, just about to drift off when what feels to me often like the best idea ever. I don't know if other people experience that, but for me, um, when I get ideas right before falling asleep, sometimes it really feels to me like this is the best idea ever. <laughs> and yeah, so sometimes I'll get this idea. One of a few different options could happen at this point. Sometimes I get the idea and I think to myself, this is such a good idea. There's no possible way I could not remember this idea in the morning. <sighs> I go to sleep without writing the idea down and I wake up in the morning and sure, sometimes I remember it, but a lot of times I don't remember the idea. That brilliant, amazing, world-changing idea that I had, which is why now I try to remember to keep a little pad of paper and a pen or pencil on the um, bedside table, that's the word, on the bedside table so that I can jot something down. If I do jot something down before bed, or if I happen to remember it the next morning without jotting it down, there are I think basically two possibilities. One is the next morning I wake up and I take the piece of paper and I read my idea and I go, oh yeah, cool idea, great, yay. But the second possibility is sometimes I look at that piece of paper or I remember the idea and I'm like, huh? Sometimes it can be hit or miss with those ideas before bed. And for this video, okay, looking at my little lists, I wrote down a few ideas recently. Here are some of them now, okay. I went to a wedding recently and at the wedding reception, I went to the restroom as one does from time to time. And I noticed, I washed my hands, there was a towel hanging on a hook. And seeing this towel made me think of, that's right, this is something that I have seen from time to time in Germany. Sometimes when I go into a restroom, um, not everywhere, but sometimes at some offices maybe, maybe at some restaurants or some cafes or just other places. How do I explain this? <laughs> of course, if I go to someone's home and I use the bathroom, then I would expect that there would be a towel hanging there to dry your hands on and everyone dries their hands on the same towel. But if I go into a bathroom, a restroom in a cafe or a restaurant, I wouldn't really expect in the US to have one 
kind of communal drying towel that everybody uses. But in Germany, that is something that I have seen from time to time. I saw that towel there and I, you know, <laughs> when I got back to my phone, I wrote the idea down there and now I've just mentioned it in a video. Another idea that I have here, I overheard Stefan having a conversation with someone. They were speaking English and the person he was talking to was in college. And I overheard him ask them, what semester are you in? Oh, that's interesting. Immediately my phone came out and I wrote that down. I don't think I would ever phrase the question that way. I would ask, what year are you in? Or how long have you been in college? Or how long have you been going to university? Anyway, I saw that or I, yeah, I overheard that and right away that went into my list as another thing to think about and maybe put in a video and now I have. So my question for you is, how do you get ideas for projects or other things that you're working on? please let me know in the comments below. Thanks so much for watching. See you in tomorrow's video where I'm talking about Danglish. I've mentioned before that I often speak in Danglish now, especially with Stefan. So tomorrow looking at some of the common German words that often creep into my English sentences. Until next time, until tomorrow, Auf Wiedersehen. Wanna watch another video? Here are two. And a really, really, really big thank you so much to our patrons on Patreon who help make these videos possible. Thank you so much for your support. Bis morgen!